In this video, I'm going to tell you the five worst NBA free agent signings that the Pistons have ever made. Okay, we're going to count down five to one. And um, aside from one of these players, the other four are after the 04 championship when we built an unbelievable roster made moves that were I mean turned out to be so savvy so awesome getting Ben Wallace I mean, who the heck's Ben Wallace right undrafted the guy's a stud Hall of Famer now Rasheed Wallace make this trade for nothing to get him Tayshaun Prince is long lanky can't do anything great defender awesome Rip Hamilton Chauncey Billups like the list goes on right and then after that man we just made some terrible terrible mistakes so at number five was Nazir Muhammad I don't think he was that bad it was more that he'd signed a huge deal after Ben Wallace walked and went to the Chicago Bulls so Ben Wallace was everything Detroit grit grind I mean this guy could do it all and we bring in Muhammad who was just a totally different player didn't fit with the team didn't fit with what we were used to and it just never went well number four is Bison Dell and when I first saw this in an article and the article that I'm looking at is from clutch points and when I first saw this I'm like who the heck is that that was pre 04 like I was just saying there's only one guy on that list so I look it up craziest stuff you've ever seen if you have a chance you need to look up Bison Dell he comes to us in like 99 signs a huge seven-year deal he only plays for us for two years does pretty well then just decides to retire and then gets murdered out at sea by his brother with his girlfriend and there's just like the craziest like circumstances around it he kills him and his girlfriend looks like for money some like gold i guess there's some documentaries uh, of course there's some podcasts on it uh, definitely check that out but he comes in at number four at number three is charlie villanueva so all of us piston fans remember him the downfall has just kind of started and it's like 09 2010 and Villanueva and um, some other guys I think I'll get to here come in and it just never felt really right but as Pistons fans we wanted to get behind him he signs a huge deal comes in and doesn't do anything and we noticed that and we look back at his career he had a couple good years when he came into the league but then after that he was quickly regressing faster than usually NBA players do typically NBA players they do they reach a point where you know lose their athleticism or whatever and then it's a sharp decline that's what happened to Villanueva early on and it was just weird everything about him I mean poor guy looks weird I'd look weird too so whatever but he he I just thought man it's just not working it doesn't work so Villanueva comes in at number three at number two is Ben Gordon signs a five-year 55 million dollar deal back in those times 55 million dollars over five years is huge and he did end up being sixth man of the year but that's just way too much money for a guy that never really did much and it was part of our downfall or not downfall but just those rough years kind of between 08 and 2020 where we started to say okay we're starting to rebuild this the right way Ben Gordon is exactly what you don't do um, a little more aging free agent and he's gonna be a backup big money it's just not what you do if you want to build a winning team and at number one my personal favorite Josh Smith I mean he fooled me big time I was so excited for Josh Smith he's super athletic I mean the guy could jump he, you know he, he just looked looked sweet but when he got to us again he was regressing and we added him to a front court of Monroe and Drummond so it's like, okay, look at this. I mean, no team is ever going to get a rebound over us. We got these three dudes. But what happens, or what we learned, was that's exactly how you do not build an NBA franchise. Number one, you don't give big money to somebody on their regression as, as Josh Smith was. He was all about athletic um, ability. He couldn't shoot, couldn't defend, but he was athletic, looked cool. So we give him a huge deal when, in fact, his athleticism started to decline and he couldn't hang. And another thing is you don't bog up the paint with three big bodies. That's not what you do. We've learned that now. But So we're given huge contracts, clogging up the paint. These guys just were in each other's way. They can't shoot from three. In today's NBA, you need basically four of your five players to shoot from three at the time with those three guys on the court or two of them on the court at once, whatever. We only, you know, we didn't have any three point. There was no stretching the D. It just was terrible. So Josh Smith signed a four year, $54 million deal. We ended up letting him 
uh, walk, we had some dead money, we ended up owning some money, buy out, it was just so messy. And that's why we're so excited for now because Troy Weaver is like, look, this is how you do it. He stripped it all the way back. He's got young, athletic dudes that are able to stretch the, the court, positionless basketball. We're building through the draft. We're making smart moves when we need to. So excited about this. And these, these bad free agent signings kind of remind you of the down years. And hopefully, we're headed to the good years. So hey, hope you've enjoyed this video. And we'll see you on the next one.